Hey guys, what if here, and welcome back to NASCAR 5 Chrome, part number 43. We got New Hampshire and Michigan this part. New Hampshire, I think, is going to be pretty much uh, the slaughter fest. But then again, I said that I could tuck in, and that didn't happen. So, but I, th I think this one I'm going to be right on. And then we will uh, go to Michigan. I'm going to use um, my settings, and I'll see how that goes. I'm curious to see how that will play out. So, there's that. So, I'm going to go through these settings, make sure everything's all good. DNFs enable, which is that's good. Everything else looks to be about the normal stuff, so that's all good. All right, perfect. So we'll jump right into qualifying here, and I guess we'll just simply see where we start with our 100 everything and our momentum stuff, too. Oh. Did I just fuck this up? <laughs> I fucked it up. How? How did I do that? Uh, oh my god, I put Mark Santos on the engine department. He doesn't need that. Oh my god. <laughs> well, uh, that's embarrassing. Okay, well, um, I swore I hit, like, like, auto sign, and usually it just puts everyone on, I don't know if it's something going wrong. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, well, I guess we'll see what we do with, uh, our almost hundred everything. <laughs> Off oh, turn four, well, that's not going to make matters any better. Why is this part going so horribly wrong? That's not even our, our goal time. That's going to be, that's, that's, that's tenth, but it's not bad, but. Yeah, we probably could have gotten our goal time for sure. Which I think was a top five. 29, yeah. Oh, well. I guess we'll see what we do in the race. I'm hoping um, that doesn't, because if we lose the race because of that, I'm going to be really upset. Like, how the fuck did I mess that up? Am I just that tired lately where I just, I don't even remember it? Austin Dillon, sure, he's the best week all weekend, sure. Kyle Busch on pole, Cole wins the back, so. Yeah, sliders on 9, uh, 39 laps, 28 or so in the fuel, so we'll only have to take right side tires on our one pit stop. Um, usually the AI aren't super insane with the difficulty here, so, I mean, it is possible, but then again, we are going into this with the 91 engine, so. It didn't seem like it, it hurt us too much. I think we were off, I don't know what the hell Harvick did there. I don't know what the hell Harvick's still doing, but. Alright, we'll take over 9th. Yeah, hopefully, don't, I mean, I don't know, I'm just, I'm, I guess, uh, hit tricks. Uh, fr front bumper damage from that, oh my god, this car is like freaking fiberglass, fiber, paper mache, that's all I have to say, god. Alright, we're almost up in the top five. We'll pass Boyer for sixth, good. And now we'll just set our sights on Truex for fifth. Well, we're about to get by Truex for fifth on the outside line. It actually works here at this track, so we can get away with it. As far as the car's speed is concerned, usually we usually, uh, from what I remember, we usually uh, redline a lot before we get into the corner. Here it's barely doing that, so yeah, we are definitely uh, down on speed. But by how much, though, I don't know. That I'm just not sure of. But so far, oh, more front bumper damage. Great. It's at 98% anyways, and then it's going to go down I bet, even more. No? Wow, okay. Well, we're about to get to fourth on Logano, and I mean we are getting up through the field. It's just uh, it's happening at a much slower rate. I'm hoping lap traffic two plays a factor in Bones Kyle Busch again, <laughs> so we got that to look forward to. But we should be able to clear Logano in turn three. We have a car length on him. Are we good? Uh, more front bumper damage, I'm sure, because I hit Kurt Busch again. Can we clear Logano? Be good? Can we relax for a bit? No? Okay, well, I guess we're just going to have a, a needlessly epic battle for fourth then. Laps later, we are still side-by-side side with Logano. I mean, it's just, it's starting to become comical at this point. I'm hoping we can finally clear him, maybe get by Kurt, and then relax. I, I have not been able to just chill since the drop of the green flag, essentially. Finally, we get by Logano. Maybe we can get by Kurt here, and then we can fully just fucking chill out. Logano, stop. I need a lap to call, like, to relax. My anxiety is through the roof because I, there's so many factors. We got you to worry about, we got the frame stipping to worry about, and the inconsistency of the car sometimes. So there's a lot to worry about. More than real life, honestly. This game makes, honestly, this game's harder than real life. That's a bold claim, but I just, I'm claiming, what the fuck did I just say? To the outside of Hamlin, like, uh, like pretty much most of the, most of this, you know, race, we get amazing runs off the corner. We're a little bit slow in the center, but we get a good launch off. Couldn't quite do it there just because, you know, we have so many to wear on my inside. As far as the gap to the leader is concerned, it's been about 1.6 or 1.5, so it's stable. I'm thinking lap traffic and just pitting, I think, is going to help us out a ton here. And we're just going to undercut Hamlin. 
Did that kind of work? No, it didn't. Okay. All right. He's trying. I wish I wish I respect. Okay, trying uh, this time on the inside of Hamlet, instead of trying to pass him on the outside, we might be able to get this to work. I don't know what it is with New Hampshire, but the AI are really good here, at least in terms of, I mean, eh, I will attack say, because obviously, Logano, I can't stand your bitch ass right now. I really, I really can't. Can I clear Hamlin? Yes, I do, but Lynn Logano gets by me, or he's trying to. But again, um... I guess I meant to say is New Hampshire came a long ways from heat evolution being so awful to now it's better. It's miles better compared to that. So we've we've watched it uh, de-evolve and then re-evolve. I guess is the word I'm trying to say. And I I I I gained a spot in loss when ultimately it didn't matter in the end. Anyways, well, Kyle Bush is getting through lap traffic now. Look, looks like he's gonna get held up by Joy Gay. So thank you. Kyle's got a big uh, glob of cars there on the track map. He's going to be approaching here pretty soon. So, we're three seconds back. We finally took him over second. Not really in our own hands, but we got it nonetheless. So now we got to try to run down Kyle if we can. Thanks, Timmy Hill. It's the second time I've wrecked myself here in New Hampshire. Because fucking live traffic won't just get out of the goddamn way. Jesus, man, it's unbelievable. They just sit in the middle. Oh, not really in the middle, but just. Ugh. And I don't know why the apron, like, just kicked me sideways there. That didn't make any damn sense. And, well, there goes any chance I had of winning. It's it's all gone now. I'm going to pit this lap. I'm going to. Maybe we'll under. I mean, if we do pit and nobody else does, we'll undercut them. I'm hoping that'll help us. Obviously, the damage around to repair that is going to hurt us. So, yeah, we pretty much threw this away. I just can't believe I messed up in. I mean, if they auto-sign, usually they just pick the cars, but I, I don't know how the fuck that happened. I, I, I guess it's on me, but I just don't know what I did. And 45, perfect. Uh, just repair that, right sides, and that, and that'll be it. I'm just, time to disappoint on myself. 8.9, and, uh, okay, well, we're ahead of Hamlin. We beat him by, I don't know how much, but... Yeah, and Kyle Busch is way, way out there, so... I don't think lap driver's gonna hurt him. Um, do we gain time on him? I don't really think so. It stayed about the same. It was about, like, 6 seconds to 5.9. Okay, maybe we gain, like, okay, half a second or something, but... Yeah, unless lap traffic screws him up big time, I just don't see me catching him. Well, to my shock, we're actually... are closing in on him just a little bit. Again, I just think we're way too far back. That one incident there, trying to get around a lap car, that cost us, like three seconds so that just it just hurt us we should be like 2.5 back but instead we're not because the track's stupid like i shouldn't be able to go off to the, the surface there and it should snap me like that that there's like i don't know what i don't know it's just the game being stupid on that well we're still closing in on kyle the gaps went down about four tenths of a second now it's down a half or well, five seconds but Again, we're just way too far back. I'm just mad at myself, the fact I screwed it up. Maybe it's the fact that I've played literally the same game for 200 fucking parts that maybe is why it finally just cracked me and I made a mis you know, made a you know very blatant mistake because this is just fucking monotonous at this point. My flag's out. We're still closing in on Kyle Bush, but again, it doesn't matter. I just... I don't even know what to say at this point. I'm just mad. You know, I try to go in every part thinking, like, you know, maybe it'll be a good time. It's fucking not. This game just literally sucks the ever-living life out of me. I just... I mean, the level of disappointment, the copy and paste, the frames dipping, the paint booth lagging, uh, DNFing and winning the championship. This game can absolutely... Like, this is like a college student promising to do well in his next test and not fucking doing it. At least Heat 4 was they made an effort on something this is oh, 1.5 million moderate driving which is fair because i did make damage and or whatever so all right on michigan all right all that stuff looks good we're, we're good okay on to michigan after after that race i just want to destroy the field hopefully michigan can deliver that up turn four i i really don't think we'll get our goal time because that's i mean even our record time we didn't even get close to that 38-7, that's, I'll take that, that's ninth, not bad at all. So, who is on pole? Poor Hamlin, still never gonna, that's karma, that's karma for me, memeing Hamlin. 
Well, too bad I'm gonna win, so he's never gonna. <laughs> he's never gonna win. All right, we're starting ninth, still running into the line. Perfect. Chase Elliott in a DLC scheme. I, I noticed that. Kevin Harvick is his snowflake. That's maybe the most accurate. Well, not really much of a snowflake, but more of a a melty snowflake. I, I Bo Wallace, yeah, sure, he's been dominant. <laughs> All right, well, uh, 26 laps. I think it's just going to be just right side tire stops. Like usual when that occurs. Obviously, the last time we were here, we had a yellow, so that kind of messed things up. It put us in a really good spot to win. Except I think before, we really had no shot, so. I guess we'll see how it goes. We'll see what those uh, VV setups do. Or slider, whatever. I don't know. It's not even a slider. Who, who now knows? Who, know. <laughs> who the hell knows what it is? But a decent start. And we're up to eighth. And... Hamlet's still leading, that's good. Kent is up there too, I don't know where he is in the playoffs. He definitely is kind of on the bubble, so he definitely needs a good run today, but obviously not being on the outside, uh, that doesn't help matters. But All right, well, up to third, and maybe second here. Maybe second in turn one and two, but yeah, a lot of good progress in that lap. Yeah, we'll get second here, because Kent just wants to be a, a stupid idiot. It pains me to say that, because he's a champion, but man... What kind of logic is that? I mean, he got him a good run off the corner, and it's going to help me, so I guess that's going to make all my, my criticisms almost mute. No, oh, guy touched him. Please don't wreck in turn three. Okay, good. All right, new leader. I'll take it. I don't care. I want to win. Oh, there goes the AI doing the classic pokage, and they'll just... Yeah, that doesn't make any sense, still. Thank you, Brad, for the push. And we'll try to run down Kyle. All right, well, we'll lose second. I guess this race is going to be a lot tougher than I thought. Okay. Well, we have pit stops, too, that will help us. So I'm thinking that's going to it's going to gain us a lot of time. So we got that on our side. Not a whole lot's going on. Brad's still pushing me. Uh, we're kind of in Logano's draft, so we're keeping... Uh, in, I mean, we're kind of keeping even with Kyle. I mean, it's been about one second to 1.2. It's been kind of going back and forth, so... Not a whole lot's going on. I'm just waiting for the pit stops to happen as I just hit the outside wall because the frames fucking dip and I'm going to turn Brad because of it. So thanks game for being so fucking incompetent. Jesus Christ, man. Like just, and he just, he's going to turn right in front of the fucking field. Oh my God. I'm about to fucking hate this game so much. There goes my race again. Well, I mean, maybe. I don't know. I hate turn two. I hate turn two so much. The car is just fine. All of a sudden, just like, it's like an apron glitch. I don't know how to explain that. It just, it just snaps. But we're going to pit this lap. We have to take four tires because our laps are just as worn. So we, we cannot get away with that. So maybe this undercut will help. I don't know. But it's just... I'm, I just can't wait to stop playing this fucking game, really. 13.3. Maybe two tenths of a second to repair damage. It's not going to hurt us here too badly. Now I'll just see where this will all cycle us out. I'm hoping the rest of the people take four tires because if not, then I'm going to be pretty pissed. Oh my god. Well, the good thing is... Uh... Why is Kyle pitting? I I don't know. The field order got all, all messed up. Thankfully, it wasn't because of my doing, so we're just going to stay out. And wow, that's going to... First start in eighth. And that's going to shuffle the field order out royally. But Miss Kyle Busch is not leading, so... That takes the fastest car out of the equation for now. And we'll only have... About eight to go, so I mean we have a shot. We definitely have a shot. I don't think Legato's up here too, so that's also gonna make matters a little bit less stressful. And we got Quinn Hoff Hoof out here, so that helps. Yeah, uh, good stuff. We'll go three wide. We just gotta get to the lead, build up that gap as much as we can before all the fast cars get up here. So that's the plan. But then again, uh, Kenseth has been up here in the top five the whole race, so. He's kind of another one to, to worry about, but we were in front of him, so I'm thinking it won't be too bad. As obviously, we're already up to third, and maybe second, or maybe even first, as, holy shit, we're three wide for a lead. That's nuts. Can we lead the lap? No, we don't, but we got the preferred lane turn one, so. Wow, the caution is going to kind of save us again. We're going to probably run, well, I guess run better than what we're going to probably finish in, I guess. Now he's got to clear Kenseth, and I can't do it. Please don't get loose up to actually hitting Kenseth there, kind of tighten the car and help you get through turn two so it actually kind of paid off doing it that way now he's got to clear him though if he goes up on the high side in turn three then yeah that helps thank you Kenseth thank you I appreciate it three to go 
And Logano's up to third. He's only 1.1 back. Now, it all depends on how Logano catches Kenseth, because Kenseth keeps using the high lane. If Logano catches him, like, off the corner and stalls him, that's going to help us out a good bit. So, obviously, Logano is a good bit faster. He was in, you know, I couldn't, you know, he was in front of me for most of that run. So, it all depends on how uh, Logano catches Kenseth here. But I think we're going to be good. We're going to be barely good, but I think we're it's going to be just enough, I think. So it all depends on how Logano gets to Kenseth here off the corner. And oh, oh, good job, Kenseth holding him up. Thank you, I appreciate that, man. What, what a bro. Ken, Kenseth still hates Logano apparently because he's he's helped me win this race. Point flags out. Logano got by Kenseth. It's only seven tenths of a second. I think it's more than enough to hold him off at that rate. I'm surprised Kyle Busch is nowhere to be seen because I think he restarted 11th. I thought for sure he would have gotten up to the front just like how Logano did, but didn't really quite happen. He's only five tenths back. He is so much faster. It's sad. Surprisingly, the caution saved us again. I don't think we really had a car to win, and we might have had third at best. But yeah, it's, it's, that's just crazy. <laughs> through three and four, Kenseth held up Logano just enough. We'll get through turn four. Oh my god, we're going to do it. <laughs> we're going to do it. Redemption from New Hampshire. <laughs> In the frame stop. I'll take it. I'll take it. Wow. Let's see if the game will show what the yellow was was cops for. Is this the yellow Lugano and Kyle Bush make contact? No, because the yellow already came out. The light was already on. Oh, that's really weird. You, there is a restart glitch where if you hit someone under the yellow, like when you're not in control of the car, then the car will be slow on the restart. I don't know if it happened to Lugano there. I don't know, but that, well, I guess we'll never know what brought the yellow, I guess, because it's just uh, a complete mystery, because that's the only one that it shows, so, um, well, good job, game, for, again, not showing yellow, so it's just a mystery. I guess someone blew a tire, but we'll never know. We'll never have concrete answers. We have more unsolved mysteries than maybe the TV show itself at this point. It's getting pretty sad. But, yeah, we get the win. I will take it. Suarez, eighth. Quinn, who was, like, fifth on that restart. He is, oh my good lord, 22nd, yikes. And Hamlin, 26th. Harvick, 32nd. Um, wow, I guess Busher, I guess, had the issues, but I don't know. It's just, wow, that's gonna... And Kyle Busch only managed to get up to 5th at the end of that. I'll take it. Good day for us. We'll redeem ourselves from the Hampshire, that's all that matters. We really got lucky on that, though, well, that one. We probably didn't deserve to win that. So where is Kenseth at the moment? He's, I mean, he's 16th, but we have Dylan that's going to get in based on points, so he needs to be 15th to be secure, and he's only one point back from Al Marola, so, um, yeah, it is, it's still very doable. Actually, the, the, the chase spot's really close, because Byron is still close, yeah, yeah, and Eric Jones is still close, so, yeah, Tyler Reddick, oh my god, 60 points out, so, yeah, in terms of pointing their way in, we got Jones, Kenseth, Al Marola, Byron, who are pretty, they, they gotta worry. I guess Boyer too, but yeah. Moderate driving, even though we only had like three one hundredths of a second of damage. I, I, whatever, I'll take it. But yeah, I will get our incentive, all that good stuff. And well, Watkins Glen, I think we'll win. I I think that's I think we're pretty confident in that assessment. And then we got Dover, which we barely won in bef uh, before, so that's gonna probably be tough. And if we have time, if we have time. Daytona, but I'm not going to guarantee it. I'm just I'm just saying it's it's a possibility. Obviously, because we did get more people and stuff, we can hire different people and stuff, but we, we really don't have to. We're kind of good on all that, so. Yeah. Let's just, uh, let's just wrap this part up. A big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters, Adele Reynolds, Brother Bros, Comic Out of the Games, Ryan Lazarin, Dave and our Champ 15, Nask and Recite.org, Bailey Carrier, Drew, Joan the Card, and Robert Dillon, Golf Game 100, and Denny Hammond, Ultimate Fan for a donation again. I can't thank you guys enough for your contribution and support to the channel every single month like this. It does me a lot, and I'm always just really grateful, thankful, but not hateful for uh, all the support you do. It's it's quite incredible. I'll see you all next part for two races, maybe three, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. But, yeah, Watkins Glen, I think, will just absolutely slap the field beyond comprehension. Dover's going to probably be tough than Daytona. I mean, we're going to be starting last, but... We've been through the whole thing. I don't even know if I'll show most of it because, I mean, we've been through this, what, how many times now? Almost a dozen times since Heat 4. 
or he was in T3 or two or yeah so yeah but anyways that'll do it for me we're getting very close to the playoff season so like I said Kenseth Eric it, the, the playoffs for 16th and stuff is getting pretty freaking close so Eric Jones six, uh, three top five six top tens yeah Kenseth has oh wrong one no, oh my god I went back to the wrong god damn it I want to look at the stats uh, four top five, seven top tens. Average finish is 16.7. Eric is 16.5. It's pr pretty close across the board. I mean, it's... Then we got eh, Tyler Reddick is nowhere near, but yeah, it's... Yeah, cute. Austin Dillon's gonna make it in. Like, that's nuts. He's 23rd in standings. He's gonna... Oh my god, this is funny. Whoa, my god. One top five, one top ten. Oh my god. I thought he would at least have a couple of top tens, but no, it's... Oh my god, poor Austin Till. <laughs> this is why the playoff format's stupid. Anyways, I'll see you all next episode. I'll see you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.